deadbeat moms. That's right, deadbeat moms. They actually exist too. Deadbeat moms actually exist. They're just hard to spot because men are usually the ones playing the role. Deadbeat moms hide their identity behind an even bigger loser, a deadbeat father. Think about it. If an unemployed occasional drug user mother somehow had a kid with a wealthy lawyer father, who would be the deadbeat? The mother. However, if that same loser mother had a kid with a prisoner drug addict dad, Who's the deadbeat then? Right? That's why mothers are always complaining about deadbeat dads on Twitter, to steer the attention away from them as loser mothers. This might be the reason why chicks get pregnant by bad boy punk losers. They want to steer that loser attention away from them. They want all eyes on the father, women want people calling the dad, the loser deadbeat. Anyways. Deadbeat moms want very little, or nothing to do with their kids' lives when it's costing them money. However, the second the kid grows up and somehow becomes successful, she wants back in her kid's life, right? Both deadbeat moms and dads are notorious for pulling this little move. They always say something along the lines of, If I didn't decide to have sex, you wouldn't have been born. You owe me. The deadbeat mom will always play this card to try to get some drug money from their successful kid. They always tell the kid after success that they had to abandon him, it was the best move for the kid, and, she did it out of love. Bullshit. You think the mother would be wanting back in the kid's life if he wasn't successful? Hell no. If the kid never became successful, the parents would just continue to avoid the kid. The kid might use up too much resources and end up costing the mother drug money, right?